What is going on guys? So today I got a super quick video, but it is how to pay for Steam XP. Um, so if you want like a pay to win method of how to do it, there's a few ways you can buy cards and get badges that way. But if you just buy games and you get Steam points, you can just convert those Steam points right into XP. And I'm going to show you how to do that. So you'll see I have this badge here. I'm on my profile. And then, or you could just go badges and be brought here right away if you just hover over this. Um, and you'll see that I have the Winter Collection 2023 and I have a level one badge and it gave me 100 XP. So we can buy a lot more of these and they reset with every major Steam sale. So there's the winter sale and the summer sale. So come summertime, there's gonna be a new set of badges we can buy to get more XP. So they reset. Um, so how do we do this? So first, let's go to the Steam Point Shop. So hover over Store, go to Point Shop. And if you want to know how these points work, you'll see your balance in the top right. Basically, if you buy something in the Steam Market or like the Steam Store, like a game or an in-game purchase, like a key for a CS2 case, that counts towards your Steam Points. Maybe DLC, that will count towards Steam Points. But something off of the Community Market like a CS2 skin or like a CS2 case, those don't count towards your Steam points. So just keep that in mind. Don't have false expectations. That's basically what this will tell you, how points work, but I just summed it up. So we're going to want to go to Seasonal Badge right here. And you'll see I bought that cheap cookie one. Um, I have 5k, so I'm going to buy the next level up and see how much XP that gives me. So just going to click here, a thousand points view my profile and then we can go to badges scroll down that gave me 200 xp so they go up in 100 xp increments i'm sure or maybe they double and triple based off the price i'm sure it scales on the price so yeah you can see that here oh actually what happened you'll see my other badge disappeared that's interesting so it leveled up my badge. So you won't see two badges. If you buy multiple, it'll just level your badge up, which is cool. So that gave me 200 XP. Maybe that only added on 100 XP then. Maybe it's not worth to buy multiple of these like that. Not sure. Let me go back to the Steam Point Shop. Let's see, let's see. I'm learning live, I didn't think. Oh, okay, so this is now only a thousand. So you're basically paying to level up your badge. Um, so it is worth to buy them in increments like this, because if I had not bought these two, this would have been 2,000 right off the bat. This would have been 3,000 and 4,000, and this would have given me 200 XP. This would give me 300 XP, but because I bought these two, I can buy this one at a discounted price, and it'll give me another 100 XP. If I bought this one straight up, it would give me 300 XP straight up, and probably wouldn't be able to buy these two anymore. I would guess. So that's how that works. Sorry I learned live with you guys, but sometimes that's how it works. You know, I, I didn't buy two of these, so it was good that I bought two, recorded this again, and now we know how these seasonal badges work. So make sure you got these Steam points. You know, I'm sure you have them if you buy games or just buy DLC, buy in-game purchases. You probably have a bunch built up, so just convert them to XP, and that's how you can do it. And then with your level 10, you can do a bunch of things, like have things on your profile, if I go here, I'm showcasing my year in review. Um, you can change your showcase. I got the animations all going on. But yeah, these are all things that you need level 10 for. So hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, drop a like. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.